Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Ooh, I'm not sitting on my chair properly. Um, I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are today in Newcastle. It is very bright, very sunny, lots of fluffy white clouds and I'm just, I'm loving it. I just wish it was cooler. But today's video is going to be a t Treasures at TK Maxx video. Now this has been collated from the end of May to now in June um, and oh my god there are some absolute corkers in this selection. I think actually this has been some of the best th finds that I've ever ever seen and I, I've started to notice a trend um, with how TK Maxx is stopping things and where they're getting them from. So if you like the sound of that let's jump in and see what they've got. everyone okay so the first thing i found was this murad invisible protecting shield for 16.99 should have been 65 pounds murad is so expensive they do sell it in uh, house of fraser but i have been seeing it a lot more in tk maxx especially like little holiday christmas style gift sets so if you are wanting to try it out i would get yourself to tk maxx and have a little look because my goodness it is super super expensive I then found this cute little Liz Earl hand cream. Not much of a saving, only a couple of pounds, but it sounded lovely and I do like bergamot. So give it a try if you love Liz Earl. Then, of course, it wouldn't be a TK Max without a little bit of pixie. So much pixie in at the, kind of the start of June, but also right now. So we've got the pixie eye shadow set and also the pixie glow kind of blush highlighter set. I will say that the eyeshadows aren't the most pigmented, so if you are wanting like a wash of colour or starting out, give them a try. They're, they are nice, they're just not super, super pigmented. Uh, but I will say that their Fairy Lights Liquid Eyeshadow are brilliant, and they do have some of their Fairy Lights Liquid Lipsticks in stock right now in TK Maxx for dead cheap. I also found the Sigma Ice Eye Brush Set, and along with that, the BH Cosmetics Brush Set, quite a reduction in price, about half off. You'll see that I've actually found quite a few different types of brushes um, throughout this video. So definitely go check out uh, TK Maxx if you're wanting to get some new brushes for your makeup set. Sigma's about the same quality as Morphe, but I think a little bit more expensive, I'm not too sure. And I do actually really rate the BH Cosmetics brushes and this one comes with a little holder, which is good for traveling with as well. Some Clarins, I think this is a cleanser. I, can I just point out that I do record some of these with me talking in the place. I'm trying to get a little bit more confident in this, but I, I, sometimes people are talking dead loudly next to me. But yeah, 14 99 and yeah, it's a cleansing milk. Now, I don't always show the nail polishes that I find in TK Maxx, but this set was quite nice. This is Butter London, and it is a quite an expensive nail polish set. Six ninety nine for six polishes, where I think like one polish alone is probably about eight or nine pounds. So keep checking for nail polishes, and I like that colour on the left hand side. Now, you guys, I have found so much Huda, but in doing so, I want you to be aware that different stores seem to be putting different prices on Huda. Now, this is fourteen ninety nine. And you will see that this one is $9.99. Now, I actually managed to get this Gemstones palette actually in the same uh, TK Maxx store in Kingston Park for $7.99. So it, it seems that the staff are just putting different sheets over them. So this one is the, the neon palette, which I was very tempted to get, but it turned out that it wasn't very neon at all. It was more just the packaging it came in. But as you'll see, it's, it's $7.99. But... The other one, same type of things, $14.99, $12.99. So just make sure that you are getting the right price for your palettes. I could not believe my eyes when I saw this. It is the Desert Dusk palette. And there was only one in this little section. And, you know, I had I snapped it up. I'm not going to lie, I snapped it up. And then I turned around and I saw all of these. I'm going to tell you right now, they're all gone. I went back a couple of days later and they're all gone. But... I'm glad that TK Maxx is putting stuff in the security boxes. My phone's trying to pick this up, but not very well. This is a NARS brush. They had loads of NARS makeup brushes in the Newcastle store. I think they've also got some in the biker shop as well. Very expensive, but if you like NARS, go for it. Some Liz Earl foundation. 
well, skin tints. I've never used any of them before. Not very big on the shade range, just what they've got in, but only $16.99. I don't know if that's much more of a save and it doesn't have the original price, so it might end up just being the same price. It looks like dead stock, to be honest. So I found some Becca foundation, not a lot of shades. Um, $9.99 should have been £32, so already a good saving. But what I will say is, keep an eye out on the packaging because some shades I've seen go for £5.99, others go for £9.99. So you never know, you might find yourself a little bit of a bargain, um, depending what store you're in. Now, we found the Fenty Primer last time, and look what I've just found in the biker store, Fenty Foundation. I can't bloody believe it. There was two types of Pro Filter and then the, the, the hydrating one. Not in my shade tone, but I did go over to the Newcastle store and I found this. And then we've got more Fenty 150. I'm going to double check to see if this is my shade. Because if that's my shade, I'm getting it. 185 in the Fenty. How much is it here? It should be 19.99 after it's reduced. Then I found in the Kingston Park store some MAC lashes. Uh, should have been £15, only £3.99. Um, I don't really see MAC that often anymore in TK Maxx. I then also saw this rose pigment. Should have been £18, only £3.99. And I actually picked that up and took that home with me because I ain't got a sniff at a pigment being so cheap. Then I saw this cute um, BH Cosmetics palette it had a bit of everything in their face eyes but why do they put the stickers the price stickers over the colors okay now so much anastasia beverly hills in the terms of brushes I found absolutely loads of brushes my battery did die the first time i found these in the biker store but then i went back and found some more we've got face brushes blending brushes and they're all around about well from 9.99 there's some obviously 15 pounds one but some big savings because her brushes are expensive i will say though they're very good quality i got one in 2012 and it's still holding up though the spoolie end is actually broken off i don't know why i'm saying that but in terms of the bristles they are holding up so give go here because they're now in boots anastasia beverly hills now becca found more Becca yesterday, um, just before I put this video together. This is a hydro setting powder. I didn't open it up, but I got the impression that this would be too deep for me, just from looking at the names. If you guys watch these videos, you know that I don't really like to open up the boxes unless they've already been opened. Um, I wouldn't like to get in something messy like that. Then I found three Becca lip glosses. Now this one was open, but I, I put it back in without recording, so sorry. But some different colors, go go Google them, and they're only 5 99 each. Becca really is in TK Maxx now, obviously because it is finishing off as it's closing in September. And then by chance this caught my eye, this is the Sunsetter face palette. So again, Come on, guys, look at these savings we're making here with Becca. I just wish that they had more stuff in. I just wish <laughs> so I could try. Nothing's caught my eye yet. And, of course, it wouldn't be a Treasures at TK Maxx video without the Anastasia Elita Edwards palette. Only £20, but literally a few days ago, found it full price. Then saw these liquid lipsticks. And I'm so happy to see these vaults in the plastic security boxes. $19.99 should have been £44, I think. You can't go wrong there. And then I also saw this gorgeous uh, just lipstick vault from Anastasia. I mean, that purple box. These, I think, these sets were from last summer because I do remember that there was a lot of influencers pushing these, such as the, um, the highlighters that we're going to see in a second. But this packaging, man, absolutely stunning. Was not here the next time I went in. These get snapped up. You need to check all the time. And then, by chance, saw these pigments, these highlighter pigments that everybody was touting. Was it last year or the year before? And obviously, they are in the set. On only $19.99 for three. This would make a nice Christmas present. Don't see why you can't plan in advance for the makeup lovers in your life. Well, it didn't take long for this to come in. And I love the names on this <laughs> if anybody can see the top two why they might look different from far away get it 
if you just glance at it, look what you see. Maybe don't say it in the comments. But good saving it, and I've just spotted something else really good. And then, now I'd seen these online, so I was very surprised to A, see them in store, but also to see them in the biker store. The Christian Louboutin lipsticks. Now, you might have seen the Tatty WTF videos, but forty nine ninety nine for one lipstick should have been about £80. Next, I found these Hemp's Body Lotions, 500ml for 9 99 I have seen them reduced in TK Maxx to 8 99 Not much of a saving there, but I never see these in the UK. I only ever see them in America. So give them a try if you want some kind of summer scented vibes on the skin. They sound delicious. And then to end on something really cute, I saw these wicker animal themed toiletry holders. So we've got a seahorse, a toucan, a flamingo. For some reason it's in Euro, £22.99. But I also had seen, sorry, the wicker basket version of the toucan. But also a little whale. I did see if I could get one, but Alex wasn't keen. So maybe next time I'll, I'll try and get one. But how cute are Okay, so, um, can you believe all that Huda, all that Anastasia Beverly Hills, I only found that Anastasia Beverly Hills last week, so absolutely loads still in stock. That was in the centre of Newcastle, so if you like the sound of that, go get them. But if you didn't know, um, I'm actually wearing um, the Huda palettes that I purchased. So this is one here, this is the Desert Dusk palette, and I'm going to... I don't know why it's got this. Nobody needs this waste plastic, but this is the palette here. So you've got a mixture of dual chromes. You've got some nice mattes, some other sparkly bits. And I have to say the quality of this palette is much better than the Mercury Retrograde palette that I got, but I'm wearing the shades Musk, Desert Sand, Musk, Oud, and Celestial from this palette. So um, these two here, this one and this one here which looks pink on camera but in my in my eyes in real life it's actually like a gold color because obviously it's got that shift and then i don't know how well you can see it in here and then i've got in the inner corner from the gemstones palette but the, i'm wearing this shade here on the inner corner and what i found was when i purchased this and i think it's in the video is that these little palettes they're all mixed up in prices so i actually got mine for 7.99 but i've seen it go for as much as 14.99 so have a little look around and see what the packaging what the plastic sheet is on because you might actually get it for cheaper but that's also it and i'm so excited to see more huda come in and what i was really impressed with was that a lot of these palettes were in security boxes so that they couldn't be touched. It's like they're learning from this. You want to sell expensive palettes and expensive makeup, you're going to sell it better if it's in protected, you know? So, yeah, that is everything. If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. I'm hoping to do another one next month, I'm ready for you guys. But yes, give it a little thumbs up. I'm also doing a giveaway. I think a lot of you know this, but if you head over to the link up in here you can enter the giveaway i'm also collaborating with three other youtubers so to enter you also will have to go and subscribe to their channel as well the sooner that we hit all our goals the sooner i can release uh, the gorgeous prize and actually one of the prizes is actually this highlighter that i'm wearing this is my version of it so it's a bit tatty but this is the emmy way undress your skin in pink shimmer and that's what i'm wearing today and it's as you can see, an amazing highlighter. So I'm gonna be giving away one of those as well, along with some Lush, along with some skincare, hair care. Um, what else we got? We've got some other makeup items. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.